In this video, I am going to show you how to connect Hostinger domain with Infinity Free Web Hosting. So let's see how we can do it. So at the end of this tutorial, your domain will be connected with the Infinity Free Web Hosting and I will also show you how you can install WordPress on your Infinity Free Web Hosting and Hostinger domain. So to get started, at first we need to log into our Hostinger Edge panel and then we will go to infinityfree.com now if you already have an account then that's great you can then log in if not then you can register your account very easily from here just enter your email address password confirm password and then click on sign up i already have an account so i'm going to click on sign in from here after that i am going to solve this captcha and then click on sign in so now we are in the dashboard of our infinity free web hosting so your dashboard will also look like this when you will register on Infinity Free Web Hosting. So at first we are going to create a new account and then we are going to connect our Hostinger domain with our new account. So on the top here you will see a button create account. So we are going to click on this create account button. So we are going to close this ad and here it will show us all the packages that are available. So we will go with the free plan. I will not recommend you to go with the premium plan because instead of this premium plan you can easily purchase and hosting from the hostinger which is better in terms of performance and very reliable as compared to the infinity free. So we are going to select our free plan and then click on create now from here. So as you can see that right now we have the option to go with the subdomain or with the custom domain. If you choose the subdomain then it will look like this your domain dot rf dot gd. So we will not use this subdomain instead we are going to use our hostinger domain. So we will select custom domain from here and here on the top you will see the notice that the domain's name servers must be set to ns1.infinityfree.com and ns2.infinityfree.com first. So don't worry it is not that difficult. It is very easy to connect your Hostinger domain with the Infinity Free. So what we are going to do is that we are going to copy this first name server from here. So after that we will go back to our Hostinger Edge panel. If you are already logged into your Hostinger Edge panel then that's great. Otherwise you can log into your Hostinger Edge panel. Just go to hostinger.com and then from the top just click on login. Now enter your Hostinger username and password and then click on login again and you will be redirected to the Hostinger Edge panel. So once you are logged in in the Hostinger Edge panel, from the left menu we are going to click on domains and then click on domain portfolio. So here we will see all the domains that we have purchased from the Hostinger. You can also purchase a new domain if you want. From the top just click on add new domain. Just click on get a new domain and you can search for your domain name. But we are going to connect our existing domain name to the infinity free. So we are going to click on domain portfolio. So we are going to connect this third domain with our infinity free web hosting. So we are going to click on this manage button next to our domain name. So as you can see that right now we are in the domain control panel. Or what you can do is that go to the main menu and then click on home from here. And then click on manage next to your web hosting and here on the left menu you will see a domains menu so click on it and then click on park domain so now from the left menu we are going to click on dns slash name servers and here you will see all the dns records for your domain so from the top we are going to click on change name servers so as you can see that currently our domain is set to hosting a name servers which is recommended but we are going to change our name servers with the infinity free name servers. So we are going to click on change name servers from here. Now we are going to change our hosting a name servers with the infinity free name servers. So we are going to paste our infinity free name server that we have copied from the infinity free dashboard. So as you can see that our first name server is now added. Now we will go back to infinity free dashboard again. Copy the second name server from here. Go back to our Stinger dashboard and paste this name server here. So as you can see that we have successfully added infinity free name servers to our Hostinger edge panel. After that from here we are going to click on save. 
and in this way our hosting domain will be connected to our infinity free web hosting it will take some time to connect your hosting domain with the infinity free web hosting sometimes it takes around 72 hours but sometimes it start working earlier so i will recommend you to wait for at least 72 hours and after that your domain will start working with the infinity free web hosting so now we are going to install WordPress on our hosting domain and infinity free web hosting. So we will go to infinity free and then from here we are going to click on open control panel. We are going to select I approve from here. And as you can see that now we are redirected to the control panel. So from here we are going to scroll down to the bottom and here we will see an option softaculous apps installer. So we are going to select this. And now from here, we are going to select WordPress and then click on install. If you have the SSL, then just select HTTPS from here and then select the domain name on which you want to install the WordPress. So after that, you can add a name and site description for your website. And then we need to configure our admin account. So at first we are going to add our admin username. So we are going to paste it here. This admin username and password will be used later on to log into our WordPress website. After that, we need to add our admin password and then we need to add our administrator email. So once you are done with these settings, just scroll down to the bottom and then click on install. And as you can see that WordPress is now installing on our hosting domain and infinity free web hosting. So once the WordPress is installed, just click on this administrative URL and it will take us to the dashboard of our WordPress website. So this is the website that we have just created using our hosting domain and infinity free web hosting. So this is how you can connect your hosting domain with infinity free web hosting and install WordPress. Thank you so much for watching the video tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel.